Hi there, I'm Suman, a research scholar at TM Panorama, and today we'll be talking about golden drugs. Often, you might have seen there are separate medicines for problems in your different body parts. Most of these medicines can be split into two parts. One that performs the function like reducing pain or killing bacteria. Call it the functional part and another that delivers the functional part to its target. Call it the carrier part. Do you know that many drugs share the same functional part but use different carrier parts to treat the same illness in various body parts? For example, depending on the carrier and its reach within the body, the same painkiller may be sold under different names and prices. But why does delivery a drug to different parts of the body need different carriers? Let's break it down with an analogy. What do you need to travel to different countries as a person? You need money and flights, right? But as an Indian, you also need visas for many countries. This is similar to citizens of other nations with weaker passports. Now imagine the different parts of your body are like separate countries and blood is the flight connecting them. Most drugs are like travelers with weak passports, needing special visas or carriers to reach their target. And sometimes, despite having everything prepared, travelers can face visa denials, missing their much awaited or needed visit. And so is the case with drug molecules. What if there was something like a golden visa? which will be solely rewarded as per an individual's requirements and achievements irrespective of their nationality. Well, as a biophysics researcher, I don't know how much I can do about the world relations. But with drugs, it's kind of doable. And gold nanoparticles can be that golden visa for drugs. These nanoparticles are tiny inert gold particles ranging from 5 to 400 nanometer typically appearing dark blue to wine red. In the 20 to 60 nanometer range they are shown to safely travel through the bloodstream and be excreted with minimal side effects. Gold nanoparticles which can be up to 1000 times larger than the drug molecules and 10 to 100 times larger than the biomolecules like proteins, carbohydrates, DNA, RNA which eventually make up the cells, the tissues and the organs. This size difference allows these nanoparticles to be coated with specific biomolecules to direct them to particular areas in the body. For instance, Coating a gold nanoparticle with a liver specific protein can guide it to liver cells. Once coated with specific liver protein, the nanoparticles can then be loaded with a drug ensuring the medication is delivered precisely to the targeted liver region. So how do we contribute to this gold nanoparticle biomolecule coating? We study how these nanoparticles interact with proteins to optimize these coatings, these protein coatings to be strong and stable which can endure the pressure of blood flow. We monitor gold nanoparticle protein complexes by measuring thermal changes during their interaction. Also by monitoring how these nanoparticles reflect light before and after proteins are attached to them. Gold on the surface of gold nanoparticles is known to form gold-sulfur bond with cysteine, one of the 20 types of amino acids in proteins. We modify proteins to study which cysteine position creates the most stable bond with gold nanoparticles. In some cases, these nanoparticles can even be engineered into molecular machines capable of tasks like gene editing to address genetic diseases. Gold nanoparticles in this way indeed serve as a golden visa for drugs, opening up new horizons in the field of medicine. And I hope that these golden drugs or the development of these golden drugs can travel freely across the world without needing any further golden visas. Thank you.